Now, the stage is set for elections in Arab world's most populous country, Egypt. In a few hours from now, the country will go to presidential polls. President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi is set to sweep to a third term, a decade after he came to power through a coup. Egypt has been embroiled in the Israel-Hamas war as it controls the Rafah crossing. This is the main link which is being used to supply aid to Gaza and serves as its only connection to the outside world. Displaced Gazans have been camping at the Rafah crossing. Egypt has repeatedly said that it will not take refugees from Palestine. Back home, the polls are being held against a background of the country's poor economic conditions. There's discontentment among the people due to rising prices and the declining standards of living. But experts say the war in Gaza has distracted people from the economic issues. President Sisi, who is running as an independent candidate, announced his election in October. While mentioning that his campaign would be curtailed to save funds for Gaza aid. There are three other candidates in the presidential race. The first is Abdel Sanad Yamama, head of the Liberal Party. The second contestant is Hazem Omar, head of the Republican People's Party. The third, Farid Zaharan, head of the Egyptian Social Democratic Party. CC sweep to polls, sweep polls to victory in previous elections, pardon me, on promises of restoring security after the 2011 uprising. Critics say elections are a mere formality in Egypt as there seems to be no real opposition to President al-Sisi. One of the prominent challengers, Ahmed al-Tantawi, pulled out of the race in October. هو عارف النظام وعارف الشعب وعارف أو أي نعم الدنيا غلا وإحنا لا مش هننتخب عشان هو مغلى علينا أنا عارف إنه مش ممكن يكون مش بيده الغلا بس هو بيده حاجة واحدة بس إن في رقابة تنزل على الاستغلال اللي إحنا شايفينه على الناس اللي هي بتزود في الأسعار بمزاجها بتبيع مزاجها